Hello, I hope you are having a wonderful Sunday so far. Thank you for joining the Faith to Conquer Fear devotional moments with me, Christy Demetrakis, the author of Faith to Conquer Fear, Inspiration to Achieve Your Dreams, and Faith to Conquer Fear, The Journey. My intent is to do these devotionals every week, and it is really just designed to give you just this burst of inspiration. And what you'll find is these devotionals may not always make you feel good, but they will make you think and hopefully give you some tools that you need to increase your faith and conquer your fears. And today we are going to talk about getting out of your comfort zone. Getting out of your comfort zone. Yesterday I spent, uh, we had the last of my five part series on Faith to Conquer Fear with the women of New Life Temple. They're women of the harvest. And we were focused on chapters nine and 10 and chapter nine is actually titled migration the courage to cross and there's one story specifically that we spent a little bit of time talking about and what i'm going to do is i'm going to read the excerpt directly from my book and then we'll talk about some meaning behind it but i think what you'll find as soon as i start reading it many of you who've been in church for any period of time or you just may have heard the story anyway will immediately recognize it. So I'm going to read it to you. And again, this is from chapter 9 of my book, Faith to Conquer Fear, The Journey. And here's what it says. There's a story I love that speaks to courage. I have heard several pastors tell the story of the eagle's nest. When the mother eagle is expecting her young, she prepares a large nest high on the edge of a cliff. She fashions it out of giant branches and sharp thorns. She then fills it with layers of soft feathers. When the baby eagles arrive and start getting all comfy cozy in their nest, do you know what the mother eagle does? Each day she removes a few more feathers until finally the nest becomes unbearable. She does this deliberately, knowing full well that unless she forces her little ones out of their comfort zone, they will never take the leap of faith. They will never know what it means to soar. When the little eagles can no longer handle the discomfort, they climb to the edge of the nest and gaze into the giant space below. Their hearts are gripped with fear, but their current condition in the nest is so bad, the unknown could hardly be worse. They mount their courage and take the leap of faith, realizing that their wings are completely untested. They have no skill, no experience, and no backup plan. They have absolutely no reason for confidence. The baby eagle continues plummeting toward the earth and just when it seems all hope is lost, the mother eagle swoops underneath the baby eagle and allows her to mount up on her wings. For the first time in her life, she knows what it means to soar. From that moment on, there is no holding her back. The baby eagle is fearless and confident. Getting out of your comfort zone. This is a very appropriate story for me, which is why I ended up including it in this book, because I think back to the time when I used to work or went to work for Coors Brewing Company. And some of you who have heard me speak before maybe have heard me tell this story. But when I first told people that I was going to start working for Coors Brewing Company, which is a beer company, they all unanimously said, Christy, why would you choose to work for a beer company? You don't drink. And I said, I didn't have a dog when I sold pet food. It's just another product. It's no big deal. And so I ended up staying with Coors for five years. And over those five years, I had a pretty quick ascension. The money was really good. I had several different assignments and I was getting lots of, of experiences. But what I also figured out over that time is as the different roles changed, the expectations were higher for me to spend more time in bars and to spend more time networking in bars and in places that just was outside of my typical comfort zone. That's not an environment I have ever loved to be in, uh, really not even liked to be in. And so now I was in a place where my livelihood was dependent on me being in that environment. And so I, I liken that to the eagle and how that mother eagle continues to bring those small you know take those feathers out 
Um, and I think that's what was happening for me. I know that's what was happening in hindsight. You don't see it in the midst sometimes. But I know that God, with every experience that was, yes, giving me more money, giving me more opportunities, the expectations to do things that were really against my personal moral compass was increasing. And it, I was just like taking a feather away, taking a feather away, taking a feather away, taking a feather away. And the longer I was with that company, the more unhappy I became. But because the money was good, because my husband and I were able to take great trips, because liquor companies and beer companies take great trips, just FYI. But because those things were so good and it was so comfortable, I wasn't proactively trying to leave. And then one day, at the time, my son Colin was three. I remember him looking at me, and I can see it just as if it was yesterday. And he looked at me and he said, Mommy, what's beer? And for me, that was the last feather. That was the last feather. Because I didn't, I didn't personally want to have to explain to my son what beer was, what it does to people when managed incorrectly, and that his mother was helping with that. I, I couldn't do it. And so that's when I took the leap out of the nest uh, to go and do something different. And I'll tell you, I took a leap without a plan. I just knew I had to go. And just as that mother eagle watches when her baby leaves the nest, when it takes that leap over the nest, or out of the nest and into this great <laughs> open space with no skill, no, no, uh, no knowledge of whether it can actually fly or not, that's what I did. But as that mother eagle watches the baby do that, the mother eagle is also ready and able to swoop underneath that baby and catch it before it hits the ground. And I will tell you that's exactly what God did for me. And that just at that three month point when I, when the, the, the money was about to run out, God swooped in and connected me with people that I have not been, had not been connected with for years who helped me to get my next job, which was a much better paying job and a much better fit for me. So this is my challenge to you. Are you currently in a place right now where you are so comfortable that you're afraid to make the move that it will take to get you to the next level. It's easy for us to do. We, we again, the money's good. We have our friends. You know, everything. Everything is comfortable. It's exactly what we know. We know what's supposed to happen tomorrow and next week because it's comfortable. That's my challenge to you. That's my challenge to you. Is are you in a place where you're so comfortable that you're afraid to take the leap? We have to take the leap. If we are to do what God has placed us in this earth to do, we have to be willing to take the leap. So I want to thank you. That's it for today. I want to thank you for watching the Faith to Conquer Fear devotional moment with me, Christy Demetrakis. Join me next week around this time for another topic that will help you increase your faith and conquer your fears. See you next week.